all in this video we will be learning how to upload our wordpress website to server so here we will be learning how we can move our website to the server here we are using multi domain hosting so we will be adding an add on domain here you can see we have added an add on domain techterabyte.com so here is our server here is the cpanel public underscore html and here we will be uploading a website Right now here you can see for single domain hosting you need to upload the websites here under the public underscore html and for multi domain hosting you need to upload it under a directory of your domain which is techterabyte.com Here are our files which will be uploading on server under the directory techterabyte.com Here you can see techterabyte.com because it is a multi domain hosting So we will be moving to cPanel, logging to it Open cPanel, then go to MySQL database and create a database. I will be creating a database also. Then we will be creating a user. Then we will be adding that user to the database. After that, we will be giving privileges. After that, we will be giving privileges. <coughs> Here you can see we are mentioning the details. Then after adding database and user, we will add the user to the database. <coughs> Let's start. So here we will be going to MySQL database and click on it to create new database. Here you need to add the new database name and click on create database. <coughs> right now we aren't having any database. Current database is zero. So we will be adding a new one for our website. Here you can see the name. Now we will click on create database. Here you can see we have created a database select successfully successfully now we will again go to the section and here we will be adding a new user let's add the username and password <coughs> here you can see here we will be mentioning the name also so that you can refer after watching the video So you can refer after watching the video. Here you should add the password. <coughs> now click on create user. Now you can see the user has been created. Now we will click on go back. Now we will add user to database. <coughs> Here you can see the section is visible. Here the user and database is visible. We will click on add. Now both of them will be added. Now you can see it is asking for user privileges. You want to create a website, you are the admin, so you will grant all privileges. Click on all privileges. Here you can see we have clicked on all privileges. Now all the rights will be given to the administrator. <coughs> 
Now click on make changes. Now as you can see user had have been successfully added to MySQL database. Now we will again go to cPanel. Here you need to move on PHMI admin. Here is the server's PHMI admin. You need to know about the difference between the server's PHMI admin and the local host. Local host is where we are creating a website and server is where we will be uploading our database. Here you can see a database is visible under PHMI admin, server PHMI admin. So we have successfully created a database but there are no tables in it. For that we need to add our localhost database here. So let's see how we can do it. Move on to localhost PHMI admin. If you remember we created our database here. While we were working on localhost WordPress, we used MySQL database. Right now here you can see it is not working because we haven't started the XAMPP control panel. We created WordPress website on XAMPP using XAMPP. So let's start XAMPP control panel. Click on XAMPP control panel. Here you can see now click on start for Apache and MySQL both so that our PHM admin is visible. Now change detected running. Now we need to refresh the page. Now your PHM admin would be visible. Here you can see get this table out so that we can upload it on the server PHM admin. Now click on go. On clicking go here you can see it has been saved here. SQL file now easily export the database and rename it. The name should be according to the server database. Here you can see we have added the same name and created a zip file so that we, we can upload it on the server PHM admin. Now here is our server PHM admin. Here you can see your database name was learn gnm underscore ttb db. So now we will import the database here which we created on localhost. Now click on import and from here go to browse and upload the zip file here. The learn gnm database zip file which we created on localhost before. Now click on go. Now all the tables will get added to the database. So we have successfully imported our now we will be copying the WordPress files from localhost as you can see here. So now we will be creating, creating a new folder, take terabyte because we will be adding our files here. You can do this there also but for the sake of convenience we are adding it here. Here our folder is created. Now we have added the files here also, take terabyte.com. Now we are creating a zip file of it so that we can easily upload it. Now go to the cPanel, public under HTML, take terabyte.com upload the zip file we created here. This is the zip file for our project created on localhost on the WordPress. Here you can see we will upload the tech terabyte zip file. Click on open and now it will be successfully uploaded. Now here you can see it is uploaded. Now we will click on it again and here you can see a zip file is visible. Now we need to add it under the directory so we will just first extract it here. First extract it. Now we will move it. I just want to show you the features of cPanel so I am doing all these things. So it will be available under the tech terabyte folder. You need to delete the zip file because we don't need it now. Here you can see a tech terabyte folder is visible. All the contents of WordPress will be visible here. You need to select all from the section. After selecting click on move over. Here you can see I have clicked on move but here we need to change the path because we want it under techterabyte.com directory straight away. Well, we have moved it successfully. Now click on techterabyte.com and you can see all the files visible here. Also the folder is visible techterabyte which is empty now because we have moved the files. So we will delete it. We have deleted a techterabyte folder. Now our Files are visible. Now we'll try the domain name. Now it is not visible right now because we need to do some basic settings for our WordPress website. Go to the PHM admin server. Here go to the WP options table and 
here you need to easily edit two files where localhost link is visible from localhost tech terabyte you need to just replace it with techterabyte.com remember to add http also because it is essential for any website http slash techterabyte.com now here you can see we will click on edit to edit the localhost tech terabyte to tech terabyte.com as you can see here we will do this for the second option also the second row also which is our home first we change the site url now we are changing the home as you can see after doing the changes you have to click on go and that's it now it is visible that you have changed it so in this video we learned uh, what is single domain hosting and multi domain hosting single domain is only having one domain with the directory public underscore html whereas multi domain is having one primary domain as well as other add on domains we were adding an add on domain tech terabyte which was under public underscore html slash tech terabyte dot com so we uploaded it on the multi domain website thank you for watching